What's up? It is Tube Dude MC reacting to view viewers on edge after creepy video goes viral by Slaptam. Lucidart makes intelligent diagramming easy and helps your best ideas become real. Start from scratch or get started with templates. You're about to witness some of the scariest videos that are trending right now. Let's take a look. Homeowner Morgan Lambert experienced a terrifying moment when her home security system alerted her to movement in her living room. On the evening of August 25th, 2024, while relaxing upstairs, Morgan received a notification that sent shivers down her spine. Concerned that a burglar might have broken into her home, Morgan quickly checked the security feed, and what she saw left her horrified. It's a little after 10 p.m. The security footage shows what appears to be a man standing in the corner of the living room, facing the wall. At first, it is hard to make out, but if you brighten the image, a distinct figure can be seen standing eerily still. You can wait. You guys can clearly see this thing, right? Is it just me? What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Also, the sh also this is a custom-made shirt that I made a long time ago. It says keep her screen. <laughs> I made it a long time ago. Terrified, Morgan and her husband rushed downstairs to confront what they feared might have been an intruder. To their shock, when they arrived, the figure was nowhere to be found. They conducted a thorough search of the home but found no sign of a break-in or any place where a large male adult could hide. The footage has since gone viral, capturing the attention of viewers worldwide. Many expressed their support and concern for the couple, urging them to call the police for a thorough investigation of the property. Others, however, speculated that the incident might have had a supernatural explanation, suggesting that the camera had captured a ghost lurking in their living room. As the debate continues, one thing is clear, also, this chilling encounter has left Morgan speakers. Lambert and her husband, along with many viewers, deeply unsettled and wondering what truly happened in their home that fateful night. First of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. In mid-August 2024, a Tennessee-based ambulance driver named Dupree had an unsettling experience while working the night shift that's since gone viral. Dupree, who was driving back to base, was terrified when he noticed what appeared to be a face in the rearview mirror. Alarmed, he immediately pulled over and began filming to document the bizarre occurrence. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So... So as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Approaching the ambulance cautiously, Japri sets his phone down in the front seat for a moment. Hey. I don't know if you see it, but can, can y'all see that back door like? That's when his camera captures something truly eerie. Watch. Can you, oh. No, what the? Can you see? It? No, hell no. The footage shows a dark figure zipping back and forth in the back of the ambulance at an unnatural speed. Can you, oh. No, what the? at an unnatural speed. Can you, oh, that oh. thing just flew right through 
No, what the f Chaos? What the flip? Was that? No, hell no. <laughs> the clip has sparked a flurry of speculation and debate among okay. viewers. Many believe that the dark figure is the ghost of a deceased patient who died in this very ambulance. I swear I... Dupree's encounter adds to a growing list of unexplained incidents experienced by night shift workers, particularly those in professions closely tied to life and death. As the video continues to circulate, it raises questions about the possibility of lingering spirits and the haunting of emergency vehicles. Is this a genuine paranormal event or simply a trick of the light? Whatever the case, Dupree's footage has certainly captured the imagination of many. Uh, I think that's a trick of the light, that's how fast oh. it went. It, uh, it also could have been no, his finger, finger the... doing this. It also could have been his finger doing this. Zip no, around, hell no. Zipping across the camera. Could have been that too. What are the tanks really? I think this is... I think. That's the like drawbridge thing. We're oh, we're in like a mirror. Yeah. Hell on Earth, a popular UK based urban fun. exploration YouTube channel, is known for its eerie and thrilling adventures through long forgotten places. I don't know why my oh, man, this is creepy. It's proper creepy. It's like a proper haunted house, isn't it? In this episode, the team ventures into an abandoned army prison service building belonging to the Ministry of Defence. And the experience quickly takes a sinister turn. Oh, are we going to make a point about this being a, like only second, 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 third? As the team enters the decrepit structure, it becomes apparent that the building's been unused for a significant period of time. It is empty, yeah. I've had a walk through this door. Oh, you don't like it. You have a look. The eerie silence is broken only by the unsettling sight of numerous dead birds scattered throughout the property. Die murdered. Written on the building, which if you ask, die on the wall. They've been murdered. Venturing upstairs, they stumble upon a chilling message scrawled across a wall. Too many birds. This place is f weird as f Room after room, the disturbing Whoa. discovery of dead pigeons so continues. While exploring one of the upstairs rooms, the team is startled by a voice calling out. That's not like these, that's not like normal videos where you can barely hear the voice. That was a clear voice saying something. Terrified, they immediately switch off their torches and remain silent. It soon becomes clear that a security guard is patrolling the property. The guard informs them that the police are on their way, and as they wait, an unsettling conversation takes place. Have a listen. Alright, uh, we'll just get off. No, 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 you have to stay there. Alright. Stay there, please, by the way. Stay there. You've just watched it. You as well. Alright, okay. You as well. You know how long we'll be? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you know why there are so many dead pigeons. Like it's the ghosts. It's the ghosts. Oh, that is With a straight face, he insists the presence of ghosts is the cause of all the dead birds, leaving the team bewildered. Like it's the ghosts. It's the ghosts. Oh, that is haunted. A ghost is going around and cracking. Oh, I'm serious. That is haunted in there. Oh, that so could this old building truly be haunted? What's behind all the dead birds? This episode leaves viewers with more questions than answers as they ponder the eerie occurrences in this long forgotten Ministry of Defence property. This is die on the wall. They've been murdered. Seriously, they have been murdered. TikTok user The Unknown RGV recently posted an eerie video documenting their experience using the infamous geolocation app Rando Nautica. For those unfamiliar, Randonautica sends users to randomly generated nearby coordinates, asking adventurers to set out with a specific goal in mind. The app gained infamy in 2020 when TikTok user Ugg Henry discovered a dead body in a suitcase while using it, leading to widespread speculation that the app might be cursed and could lead users to danger. In June 2024, the unknown RGV and a group of friends decided to try their luck with the app. 
following its suggested location in McAllen, Texas. The app directs them to a dead end road in the middle of a field. Their coordinates, they're met with a chilling sight. No. Someone or something started running in the pitch dark area. A dark figure can be seen running at full speed in the middle of the field despite the near pitch black conditions. Someone running? The video has since gone viral with viewers speculating about what the group might have encountered. Some suggest it could just be a person playing a prank, while others believe it might be something more sinister or even paranormal. To this day, the group has no idea what they saw, adding to the growing number of mysterious and eerie experiences reported by Randonautica users. Oh, there's someone running! Can I lower my window? <laughs> Here's a quick and weird one from TikTok user JoJetJing143. It's 3am and the user's working the night shift when suddenly he spots this. Oh my god. Oh my god guys, that's creepy. That right there. Oh my god. Creepiest thing I've ever s seen. Creepiest thing I've ever seen. Caught on camera. A strange figure can be seen standing in the middle of the road. Looks like a little child. The sighting has gone viral with thousands of comments pouring in trying to make sense of the bizarre nighttime encounter. Some viewers are seeing a small man in overalls holding a bat or machete. Others, however, just see a coyote standing front on. So where do you land? Tiny knife wielding maniac or front facing prairie wolf? Let First, me know down below. Chris won't even know it does kind of look like a coyote. Sticking with eerie nighttime sightings, this next one comes from the TikTok user Tupac the Don. Take a look. Skinwalker! Hashtag Skinwalker! Brief clip shows an unidentified animal standing in the road. Naturally, a lot of commenters jump straight to calling this a skinwalker sighting. Other, more grounded suggestions said it could just be a coyote with a severe case of mange. So what do you think? Are you team mange or team skinwalker? Cast your votes in the comments down below. Coming up in our last segment, in just a few seconds, we take a look at a truly unsettling vacation photo. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button, then turn on all channel That's notifications. Channel. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and intriguing Let's episodes. Just subscribe to Slap Tam, they're amazing. Our last eerie sighting of the day was posted to TikTok by Damn That's Creepy. This couple were on vacation when they visited this scenic waterfall. They took several snaps and moved on with their day, not thinking too much about it. However, later that night when reviewing the snaps, they were freaked out by what they saw. There's no way to even make that out as a rock formation. You can't even call that a rock formation. Guys, I'm telling you, you can't even call this a rock formation right here. That's not. That's not a rock formation. 
that looks like a little girl, a, a lady. I'm calling it a lady. In one of the photos, a mysterious figure can be seen sitting on a rock in the background. It's the terrifying. couple were certain that they were one of the only ones hiking in the area that day and wouldn't have posed for the photo if someone was in the background that they were trying to capture. Zooming in, the figure looks out of place and appears to be wearing a long flowing white dress. Some viewers even think it looks like the person has wings. So what do you think's been caught on camera here? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down Hi. below. Over on our second channel, Slaptown Mysteries, we ask the question, did witches stop Adolf Hitler from invading England in World War II? Here's a little snippet of this fascinating episode. Amidst the turmoil of World War II, a covert gathering of witches convened under the cloak of darkness in the heart of the New Forest. Known only as Operation Cone of Power, their aim was whispered in hushed tones to sway the mind of Adolf Hitler himself. In the shadows of La Massive, they danced with purpose, weaving spells that echoed through the ages. But as history fades into myth, the question remains, did their magic alter the course of war? Or was it merely a figment of collective imagination? Join us as we unravel a tale of power, patriotism, and the secrets buried within the forest steppes. If you want to get all the baffling details of this mysterious incident, I'll put some links to the episode in the description box down below there. It's also pinned in the comments. Head on over, hit subscribe, and we'll... Alright, bye guys! Hope you enjoyed. Go on, TubeDudeMC.